So now, let's start working with the timeline. In order to work with timeline in the new window, I'm going to go into my categories right here. And here, you can see schedule. This is what you select for timeline. So I'm going to select this. And here, you can see that there's a timeline along with other time related charts right here. So I'm going to select timeline right here and I'm going to choose a blank slate. Just going to choose metric unit and click create. There you go. So here's the timeline as you can see and I want to bring in my timeline. So you can either bring in block timeline or you can bring in line timeline. So I'm going to bring in a line timeline right here as you can see. So there's a line. So over here, once I drag it out, you can see that you can choose a time period and a scale. So I'm going to say that I'm going to work with a uh, project that is around a one month long. So over here in the start month, I'm going to choose September 1st of 2019 and it'll end September uh, in September 30th of 2019 itself. So start and end time right here. So that's this start time, which is actually 12 a.m. So I'm just going to change this into 9 a.m. right here. And then the end is going to be 6 p.m. So P, just type in it, it in and it'll be teens. So over here, you can see that there's the time scale. I'm going to have a week based time scale right here. So you can choose hours, days, month, quarters, and so forth. So if you have year long timelines, you can also choose years right here. So I'm going, just going to divide this into weeks long. So the start week would be, let's say it's going to be Sunday and uh, since I don't actually have set it to years, so it's not, no, I don't have to set any fiscal year right here. There's also the time format, so I can choose the Gregorian, uh, uh, Gre uh, Gregorian calendar, or if I were to go over to other areas like, let's say, for example, Friends, France, then I start getting more options right here according to what I choose. So um, I am simply going to choose English United States because that's the universal format that I want to choose. And you can see that date format and everything changes right there. So you can go over here. That's the so start and finish dates on timeline. You can see that I'm, I can choose a much more detailed date right here with the date itself. So I'm going to choose this one and the date format for interim marking. I'm going to choose the same detailed date right here. So once everything are there, so you, you uh, you can also check and automatically update dates when marker are moved. I do want to uh, check that out so that it's easier for me to rearrange everything. So once everything is done, I'm going to press OK and you can see that the dates appear. So if I were to actually go over here, zoom it in, you can see that you have Sunday, have Sunday and each Sunday is displayed along with the dates. So you can see that finally September 30 is the Monday, which is at the end right there. So that's how you set up a timeline to start working. Uh, so that is how you start working with timeline inside of Microsoft Physio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.